Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Google Cloud costs are one of the hardest things to keep track of. Whether you're running a single Google Cloud project or you're managing dozens across an organization, digging into your Google Cloud billing export data in BigQuery often feels like writing the same SQL query again and again and again. That's where Google's Agent Development Kit and MCP Toolbox for databases come in. So I've built an agent that gives me conversational access to my GCP cost data. So instead of wrangling in SQL queries, dashboards, I can now simply ask what was my total cost for August 2025 or what was my cost or show me my project spending for the month of September or did I spend more on compute engine or Google Cloud Storage and I can get answers instantly in a second. If you're looking to get started with MCP Toolbox for databases, I have the entire course recorded and there's a link in the description, you can check that out. And uh, let's get started with today's video where we'll be building an agent that connects to your Google Cloud billing data using Agent Development Kit and MCP Toolbox for databases. So let's get started. Now Google Cloud billing data is full of valuable details, monthly totals, project breakdowns, service costs and more. But most people will always see this inside of the billing section inside of Google Cloud. So the first step of our process to make this data useful is exporting this data to BigQuery. Once it's exported to BigQuery, you get the flexibility, but at a cost. Suddenly you're dealing with SQL queries, nested schemas, and, the, and there is an extra need for technical knowledge and just to answer basic cost questions. Now, if you're new to this part, um, I'll be leaving a blog link in the description that shows you how to set up the billing export in, and then you can export that data to BigQuery. But as of now, if you go to your Google Cloud billing on your console and uh, you go to the billing export section here in your on the left side where you have options, this is what you can see. There are um, two to three or four types of data sets or type of data you can export from your Google Cloud billing to your BigQuery. There's a standard usage cost where it fetches your daily costs per SKU. That's going to be software costing unit. And after which you have the detailed usage cost. So you'll get more details. You can understand more. I'll be leaving the documentation for all the data sets available in the description. You can check that out. After which you have a standard pricing data set where um, this is a static data set that contains prices for all the Google Cloud services that are provided. And in the end, you have a committed use discounts export that you can also use. If you have to click on edit settings, you can select your data set name that's created on BigQuery, select your region, click on save and your export will begin shortly. So the problem here we are trying to solve is simple. Instead of clicking through the console or writing SQL queries every time, why not just talk to your billing data directly? So I'm going to go to BigQuery and you can see if I go down to my data sets, I can currently see my billing export where if I open up and I click on the cloud pricing export, I can see the cloud pricing export data. So with the Google's agent development kit and MCP toolbox for databases, we'll be building an agent that plugs directly into your BigQuery billing export data and gives you conversational access. You can ask it for total costs, project level breakdowns, or the most expensive service that you have used last month. And you can get the answers instantly with the right currency and unit. It's a practical and very interesting application and use of agents for FinOps, turning something as complex as billing data into something that you can simply ask questions about. Learn how to export your data from the billing part to BigQuery. I have a blog linked in the description. You can check that out and just go ahead and install Google ADK. And once you are done, we can move forward to the code part. The next thing that we're going to be doing is creating our tools.yml file. So MCP toolbox for databases requires a file called tools.yml, which is a YML file that defines which database you are connecting to and which SQL queries will be exposed as tools. Right. So these tools query the Google Cloud billing export table, abstracting schema, complexity and enabling secure parameterized access for the GCP agent. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating an ADK agent here using the run ADK create GCP cost assistant. And I'm going to click on enter. And you can see the first question that it asks me is choose a Gemini model for the root agent. So I'm going to click on one. 
Now you just select which part, which backend is it going to be? Is it going to be Vertex AI, Google AI? I'm going to be sticking to Google AI. After which it's going to be prompting you to put in your API key. So all you have to do is go to Google AI Studio, go to your get API key section. And in case you don't have an API key created, click on create API key and you can always create a new API key there. Once you paste in your API key, you can see it successfully creates a new agent inside of your ADK projects or inside of my ADK projects known as the GCP cost assistant. And inside of which it has a .env file with the API key, the .init file to initiate the agent. And in the end, we have the main agent.py. So let's open up and see what that looks like. So I'm going to go in here and you can see it creates a simple agent file here. It creates a .env file with my API key and we are all good to go. So this is how basically you can create your agents instantly without you manually having to create all the files. You can simply use this command uv run adk create followed by the name of your agent or the name of the folder that you'd want to keep. And it builds you a simple first draft agent that you can edit and make changes into. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is creating a new file here called tools.yml, which is going to be containing my uh, data sets, SQL queries as tools and much more. So I'm going to start off by declaring my sources inside of which I'm going to be doing GCP underscore billing underscore BQ. Now in the, in the kind I'm going to be mentioning, it's going to be a big query data set, right? And in the project, I'm going to be naming my project ID or my project name that's going to be there. And once we are done, we can now declare our tools that the agent is going to be using to give me my GCP cost data. And here you can see I've successfully pasted in my tools that I'm going to be using. So let's break down each tool and understand what we're trying to do here. So the first tool is going to be getting a monthly cost summary. So I know how much or how much do I owe Google Cloud in the month, in the particular month, be it September, October, November, followed by the SQL query that's there. Now, in case you are not that good with SQL, you can always generate queries inside of Gemini in BigQuery. And I have just taken those SQL queries and I've pasted it down here. And remember to update your data set ID to fetch the data set ID. All you have to do is go to your Google cloud console where you have the big query data sets, click on the three dots here and click on copy ID, which will give you an ID that you can paste into the tools.yml file. So this is our first tool that's going to be fetching the monthly cost summary followed by getting the cost by project. It's always good to know how much expense or how much costs are there or are recurring for each of the projects that I have in my console. Inside of which we'll be having the parameter as invoice month to know which month are we actually looking at, be it be November, December, October, etc. After which is the similar SQL query. Don't forget to update your data set ID and you're all set and good to go. In the end, we have the last tool that's going to be get cost by service. It's always good to know if I'm spending more on the Gemini API or I'm spending more on compute engine, etc. So it gives me a proper breakdown for a month based on the services that I'm using. Once again, it's going to be having the parameter as the invoice month. In case you want to enhance this, you can get the cost by service where you can put the parameter as the service name. So you can ask questions like, what did I spend on the on Gemini API in the month of October and stuff like that. This is how you can basically enhance your tools.yml file. And we come down here, we can we have the SQL query here again. And that's kind of it. That's kind of the tools.yml file that we are working on right now. And in the end, once you're done with everything, the first step and I mean, the last step is going to be combining all these tools into one big tool set. Right? So inside of this, I'm going to first name my uh, tool set. That's going to be GCP underscore cost agent tools, right? And inside of this, I'm going to be having my three tools. That's going to be get monthly cost summary. That's going to be my first tool that I'm going to be using followed by the second tool. That's going to be get cost by project. And in the end, I have my third tool. That's going to be get cost by service. And basically our tools.yml file is ready and good to go. 
all the tools are bundled into one tool set to keep everything organized and easy to load into the agent. Once we are done, I'm going to be running the toolbox server. And for that, we're going to be using the toolbox tools file equal to tools.yml file. If I click on enter, you can see my MCP toolbox server is ready and good to go. Now that we have configured the tools.yml file, it's time to bring the agent to life. So the GCP cost agent is designed to handle a variety of cost related questions by following structured workflows. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'll just clear this out and I'm going to be pasting in the imports followed by initializing the toolbox client. That's going to be this link that you get here when it's ready. And we move to load the defined tools into the agent using the toolbox dot load tool set command. After which I've pasted the next segment of the code, which creates the agent using the agent class from ADK using the Gemini model for natural language processing and reasoning. We declared the description here that it is an agent that provides insight into GCP cost, etc. After which we declared the detailed instruction set. If you want the code for quick working, um, I'll be leaving the GitHub code link in the description. You can check that out. But uh, this workflow basically ensures consistency and accuracy, transforming inaccessible GCP billing data into a dynamic resource for users and enterprises. Now to run the agent locally, uh, we have already started the MCP toolbox server. I'm just going to go ahead and ex execute the ADK web command, which brings on the ADK UI. For production, you can always deploy this to Vertex AI engine or cloud run for scalability. This setup basically ensures conversational queries, enabling dead billing data into actionable insights without manual API hassles or SQL interaction. And you can see our ADK web server has successfully loaded up. So I'm going to be opening it up. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is coming down and I'm going to be clicking on the GCP cost agent. The first thing that I'm going to say is, hello, what can you do for me? So our first interaction is fundamental where we're trying to understand what the agent can actually do for me just to test the agent's capability. So it starts off by saying I can help you analyze your Google Cloud costs by querying your billing data. So I think the first question that I'm going to be asking is what was my total bill in September 2025? You can see it first starts off by calling the monthly cost summary tool, followed by giving me a total cost for September that was 0.43 INR. The agent successfully gives me my total cost for the month of September. And now we're going to be going ahead and testing the get cost by project tool to fetch the costing for each project. So I'm going to say which projects cost the most in August 2025. I'm going to click on enter. You can see it automatically detects and thinks of calling the get costs by project tool. You can see in the in the month of August, the project, the most cost was project two with a cost of this much. The other projects were significantly less. You can see it's not just giving me a tabulated or a proper structured response. It's giving me response in natural language in a way users, enterprises, developers, non developers can easily understand and make sense out of it. But if you are to compare this to using this on BigQuery, going and writing your own SQL queries, and in the end getting back one response or two responses doesn't make sense. So you can see the next thing that we'll be doing is retrieving the breakdown costs by service for a given month. So I'm going to say which services were the most expensive in August 2025. I'm, I had a lot of expense in August 25. So I'm going to be sticking to that particular month. So the data that we get back actually makes sense other than just zero zero responses. And you can see once again, it gives me the most expensive service was Gemini API with a total cost of something other significant costs came from different different tools that you can see. And you can see here we've got successfully we could interact with our Google Cloud billing data. And you can see the data is sitting here, but we are interacting with it in natural language here. With MCP toolbox for databases and Google's agent development kit, we move from static billing screens and manual queries to a conversational way of understanding costs. Instead of navigating the Google cloud console or writing SQL, you can now ask the agent questions and get instant answers. This approach doesn't just simplify analysis. It opens doors for FinOp agents that are not only conversational, 
but could be autonomous tomorrow acting on insights in real time maybe you could set an agent to see if i spend more than 50 dollars on the gemini api i would like you to stop or disable the api or not make any more calls on it you can always look at enhancing this agent i'll be leaving the code link in the description you can check that out and this brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you have understood how to build a cloud finops agent to understand your gcp costs using agent development kit and mcp toolbox for databases i'll be leaving all the documentation and all resources in the description you can check that out if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one